What's going on guys? It's been a while. Happy New Year. I hope you guys had awesome holidays. I want to give you guys a little update on what I've been doing and what my plans are for this year. And at the end, I want to give you guys a little bit of a rant on this whole New Year, New You thing that I've been hearing a lot about. And all the questions that I've been getting that have just been frustrating me so much because people seem to think that there's some magic pill that they can take to fix all their problems and make them fit. Um, so first off, starting off this video, I have a couple more months left in my bulk and I'm hoping to do a couple shows this summer. I don't know if I talked to you guys last time, but I joined Team Earned down in Costa Mesa. Coach Kai has been helping me a lot and teaching me kind of what I need to do to take my physique to the next level and I've definitely been noticing the changes. Um, Jimmy, he's always on all my videos on Instagram and stuff like that and Nicole gets mad about it but he is going to be hopefully competing in a couple shows with me. He's going to be doing physique, I'll be doing classic. Um, but that is the immediate plan for right now. My goal is to get to around, I think, 205, 210 in the next couple months and then hopefully start cutting down because for classic with my height and weight category, I need to be at like 185, like high 180s on stage. So that's kind of what I need to start focusing on. One of the things I've really learned this off season is that there's just different types of people and there's certain people who are going to succeed in their goals and certain people who aren't. And all it is is some people are gonna complain about everything and not trust you, and guess what? Those are the people who are not gonna succeed at their goals. The second type of person is gonna be someone who does exactly what you say, who they do exactly what you tell them to do, and they don't complain about it. It might be hard, but there's that trust between you and them, and you know that they're gonna do what they need to do and vice versa. They know that I'm gonna get them to that point that they need to be. So one of the things that I've learned this off season is eating, is literally the hardest thing in the world. Training is easy. I need to be eating about 5,500 calories right now to be gaining the amount of weight that I need to. And that is by far the most challenging thing I've ever done. Like, I would rather cut for days, I would rather train for hours, I'd probably rather run <laughs> long distances than eat that many calories, and that's saying a lot. But one of the things is that some of these people who are succeeding, they're doing this work. They're doing the things that other people don't wanna do and they're just putting up with it. So one of the things I've tried to do is just not complain about, <laughs> even if things are hard, just stick to it because it's gonna end soon. Everyone always looks for some different way to do things or hopes that they're not in the situation that they are right now. But one thing that I've kind of learned is that just embrace the suck that you're in and eventually you're gonna come out of it and you're gonna be a lot stronger person because of it. So. Don't be afraid of doing the challenging things and doing the things that are hard because that's what's gonna make you a more well-rounded person in fitness and business and relationships and anything. So just embrace those challenges and the things that are hard because that's what's really gonna make you better. So this whole new year, new you. Gosh, we'll cut that out. <laughs> um, so the last thing I wanna talk about is what makes people successful. So a lot of people for the new year are looking to reach their fitness goals, lose all this weight, gain all this muscle, be fit again, come into the gym. But I'm gonna tell you guys a secret. The only thing that makes people successful in the gym with all the clients that I have is the people who do exactly what I tell them and are able to communicate with me effectively on what they're doing outside of the gym, what they're doing with their life, and whether they're able to follow that or not. So the whole coach-client communication is 100% essential. There's no magic pill, there's no magic diet, exercise, there's no way to like target fat loss in certain areas of your body. It's simply being able to have the trust in your coach and being able to have the trust in your client that I'm gonna get them there and they're gonna be able to do those things that I tell them. So even if it might not make sense right now and being able to know what to adjust down the line, that is all it takes is just being able to adjust their plan and them doing exactly what you say. All my people who have been successful, that's simply what they do. There's no pill, diet, supplement, anything that makes them successful. It's just that communication and that trust that we have built. So I think that's the most important thing to take into account going into the new year. All these people trying to lose this weight, there's no secret. Just simply get a coach, get someone you can be accountable to, and start taking steps towards that every day. Having that accountability even when it sucks, that accountability is gonna keep you moving in the right direction. So one of the things that a lot of people don't realize is that coaches have coaches as well. So for me, I have worked with coaches off and on for the past three years, and every time I'm with a coach, having that accountability when things suck is probably the most important thing. So 
like I mentioned before, eating is the hardest thing for me right now. Training is easy. But having someone that's constantly tracking my weight and making sure I'm staying on top of my nutrition is what I need right now because I'll admit I don't want to stay up till 12 or 1 o'clock in the morning eating. Sometimes I just want to go to bed. But if I know I have someone I need to report to and I feel like I'm letting them down if I don't hold up those expectations, that's going to make you a lot more successful. So that's one of the things that I try to tell people is that even if you feel like you know what you're doing, that accountability and that little extra guidance is really gonna take you a long way. Cool. It's cold, okay? All right. <laughs> this guy. Oh my gosh. All right, anyway, <laughs> so that, I hope we edit that out. Thank you for watching, guys. It's uh, not gonna be edited. No, it's not gonna be. <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna be rolling out a couple new things uh, this new year for you guys. Again, <laughs> new year, new me. Um, oh gosh, I can't. Anyways, but stay tuned. One of the biggest things that I wanna have for you guys is once I start prepping, is being able to document that a lot more with vlogs, um, workouts, and then a lot of tips and nutrition stuff throughout the months in the um, competition prep. So I want you guys to be a part of that process and see what it's actually like. Um, so you can kind of go on that journey with me, but that's one of the biggest things if you guys ever have any other questions of Again how to reach your goals you have specific questions on weight loss muscle gain Nutrition anything like that either leave it in the comments or you can DM me at David T. Fisher on Instagram Those will be the places to find me. Thank you for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video The heart eyes <laughs>